So Aleppo is a software provider focused on internet service providers and mobile network operators around the world. Uh, so I focus on developing partnerships as well as sales here in North America and along with some of our accounts around the world. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we offer solutions to help uh, these operators monetize their data networks. Mm -hmm. uh, we really focus on the data side of the business, um, especially in developing markets. Data and wireless data is really so much, so much bigger than uh, voice. And even here in the U.S., we're seeing uh, these data networks are starting to, to grow so, so large that they need these types of solutions. Um, so we offer all sorts of components that fit into the core network mm -hmm. and, and the billing side of the network, um, especially in policy and charging. Um, okay. So those are the, the types of uh, focus areas we have with our customers. Yeah, I know you all uh, are, are focused on North America as well as a lot of uh, portions of the developing world. I was yes. flipping through the headlines this morning and saw an announcement about some work uh, that Aleppo is doing in partnership with Ahura One in uh, Tanzania. Yeah. What's going on with that? Yeah, so Ahura One is a citywide uh, Wi-Fi uh, operator. Mm -hmm. So they, they offer data solutions to their customers. It's kind of like a fixed access to the Wi-Fi base stations. Um, so there we work with our partner Altai, which is based in Hong Kong. Uh, they have these super Wi-Fi base stations. They're deployed all throughout the, the capital of Tanzania. Um, and Uhuru One sells these data passes uh, where their users can connect via laptop or dongles. Um, they sell devices. Uh, and Aleppo is the, the policy and, and bill, billing solution for Uhuru One. They've migrated from um, a smaller uh, solution that they had. They wanted more of a, a carrier class solution, and that's okay. something we could come in and provide for them. All right, very good. And you know, you mentioned uh, uh, policy charging earlier. This is uh, obviously a big aspect of, uh, of data. Uh, integration in terms of business support systems. Sure. So give us an idea of what Aleppo can enable a CSP to do in that regard. Sure. We're seeing this all over the world as these operators trying to figure out how do I monetize these data networks. Um, so they do things uh, like location-based charging, application-based charging. Um, there's all sorts of policies that we've been seeing, uh, Skype-based charging, um, where the, the users in these markets really want uh, something special, and there's, there's so much competition that the operators feel like by, by having different types of promotions and plans um, that they can help grow their revenue or reduce their costs. Same thing with congestion charging. Um, they can look at their, their, their network analytics, see what type of areas of the city are congested, and they can change the pricing based on that um, in order to, to help alleviate the, the network congestion that they're seeing. Okay, and uh, you know, we were talking a little bit before we started rolling the cameras here. How do you see sort of the uh, adoption of analytics solutions uh, playing out in, in the short term from a, a vendor perspective or from a, a carrier perspective? Yeah, we're seeing a lot of interest in more data. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows that there's, there's so much data that they can gather from their users and from their networks. Um, and by combining those types of um, numbers, they can really analyze what's going on with the users, you know, when are they purchasing, what are they purchasing, what types of applications are they using, um, what parts of the city are they using more data, um, and they can, they can basically take all this data out of certain systems, um, put it into a solution like Tableau or these, these big um, data analytics software companies, um, and then they can really look at that, um, put it on a reporting server, and then figure out what type of actions do I need to take from that data. You know, how do I make more money off of my users, or how do I save money on the network side? Um, and then they can use solutions like Aleppo's to, to put in those policies and actually push those promotions and plans to their users. Okay, and uh, for the folks at home that want to find out a little bit more about the company and engage with Aleppo, uh, where do they need to go online? Yeah, so we have a website, Aleppo.com, A-L-E-P-O, and we're also on Facebook and Twitter, but the website is definitely the, the most expansive. Very good. Well, Derek, thank you so much for coming in and uh, talking to us today. Thank you.